ignoring versus suffocating. Which one's the best? I'm not sure either of them are any good when we talk about customer experience. I remember a story when I was in Philippines a few years back and I was uh, doing a bit of mystery shopping and I walked through those doors and there was so much, so many staff on duty. It was incredible. They were everywhere. As soon as I walked through the door, they jumped on me, asking me if I wanted anything. And I just wanted to look around. By the time I get to the second one, third one, fourth people, they were all following me around the shop. It was absolutely suffocating. I couldn't actually stay there. I had to walk out. And this is not a way to look after your customers. No, suffocating isn't great for your customer. However, when you walk into a place and you've got staff around and they're totally ignoring you, this is the other side of the coin, right? You know, <laughs> you either get jumped on or you get totally ignored. So you need to look after that. You need to teach and show your employees how to really engage with their customers at the right time, at the right place. There's body language, there's cues that the customers are going to look for and actually give out when they're looking for help and support. But you know, the staff needs to be able to be aware, they need to know. So we need to kind of really teach them how to build rapport, how to get engaged, how to connect first in the first place without making the customers feel suffocating. And there's three super free things that every single employees can be doing for their customers. An eye contact, a smile and a hello. Those are the three best things that you can teach your employees as soon as a customer arrives. Just do that, let them walk around and then look for the cues. Look for the cues so they can deliver amazing customer experiences. Do it! Do it now!